I bowen to you all one more beautiful time we are in grade 10 science and we have been learning chemical basis of life as we promised we are going to learn something new today in this beautiful lesson it's coming to you from us as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus we will learn about polysaccharides today and that's the third type of carbohydrate in this chapter 1 and this is going to be video number 6 what we will learn today how polysaccharides forms you will understand and you will come to know at the end of this session how the polysaccharides are formed and the types of polysaccharides also we will do some comprehensive revision to the entire carbohydrates at the end of the session so let's get into the subject now polymerization of a large number of monosaccharides form a polysaccharide molecules that is how the polysaccharides are made so so many monosaccharides so many monosaccharides come together and joining together and forming polysaccharides remember it and we already learned that two monosaccharides are forming the disaccharides and many monosaccharides are forming polysaccharides lovely you understood it so hydrolysis of polysaccharides results relevant monosaccharides yes you can make break the polymerization polysaccharides also and form that one into a monosaccharide so that is also can be hydrolyzed okay we already learned about monosaccharides those are sweet water soluble and crystal shape and disaccharides sweet water soluble and crystal shape also what about polysaccharides listen to this very carefully polysaccharides are insoluble in normal water and it is not crystal like disaccharide or monosaccharide so you came to know disaccharides and monosaccharide sharing the same quality while polysaccharides got a little different insoluble in normal water and not crystal yes we understood glucose fructose and galactose are monosaccharides and disaccharides are formed joining together to monosaccharides so glucose and glucose come together and form maltose glucose and fructose come together and form sucrose glucose and galactose come together and form lactose and each of the above the water will be also going to re get released now does this polysaccharides got divisions like the earlier yes those are cellulose starch and glycogen interestingly like monosaccharides and disaccharides polysaccharides also got its examples let's understand those things okay cellulose starch and glycogen the structural unit or when it is getting break or when it is getting broken cellulose also will get into a form of glucose starch glucose and glycogen glucose about there will be differences what is that properties are different according to the number of glucose molecules and how they are bound with each other so there will be different glucoses cellulose starch and glycogen will definitely give away when it is and broken structural unit will be glucose but there will be differences properties are different according to the number of glucose molecules that's number one and how they are bound with each other let's understand the character of polysaccharide under the cellulose this is found in cell walls of plant cells so it's not digested in the human digestive system but it helps to avoid constipation so you have to remember when you are eating these kinds of vegetables and salads it is not getting digested in the human digestive system but it is helping for you all to avoid constipation that's the reason you are advised to take that one well we understood that now the second one is about the starch interestingly you found starch in grains yams and jackfruit and breadfruit yummy 
So grains, yams and jack breadfruit you find the starch and the type of carbohydrates that stores in plants in starch. The type of carbohydrates that stores in plants in starch like when the, the plant is storing, when the plant is producing the starch and it will get the starch store somewhere. So that storing is this in front of you. Grain, yams, jack and breadfruit. That is also called starch. Now the third one is glycogen. You found this glycogen in animal liver and the muscles. The type of carbohydrates that stores in animal body is glycogen always. It can be a question and so many times this type of questions are coming in the examination. Remember the carbohydrates that stores in animal body is glycogen. What we did learn, yes, how polysaccharides are formed and types of polysaccharides we understood. Now you know how the polysaccharides are formed and what are the types of polysaccharides and the entire carbohydrates you came to know. Let's put a little recap. Polysaccharides are cellulose found in cell wall of plant cells and not digested in the human digestive system but it helps to avoid constipation. Starch found in grains, yams, jack, breadfruit and the type of carbohydrates that stores in plants in starch and the glycogen found in animal, liver and muscles. The type of carbohydrates that stores in animal body is what? Glycogen. Those, the structural unit of cellulose, starch, glycogen is glucose. But their properties are different according to the number of glucose molecules and how they are bound with each other. So monosaccharides, crystal shape, sweet and water soluble and the divisions glucose, fructose and galactose, structural unit of carbohydrate is what? Monosaccharide. The disaccharides are sweet, water soluble and crystal shape, glucose and glucose become maltose, glucose and fructose, sucrose, glucose and galactose forms lactose in each of the above the water will also be there. Two monosaccharides forms what? Disaccharides. Now the polysaccharides are insoluble in normal water and not crystal unlike disaccharides and monosaccharides it is. Cellulose, starch and glycogens are the divisions. Polymerization of a large number of monosaccharides form a polysaccharide molecule. We came to know the entire subject now. So that's all for the session. We learn about how polysaccharides forms and types of polysaccharides and about the entire set of carbohydrates. Until I meet you again in another beautiful session. Bye bye and take care of yourself.